So you ask, I'm going to do my best to answer it. What is a facilitator? Well, let's find out. Here's your story, let's begin. The water's fine, come on, dive in. The future's here, it's right before your eyes. I think the question was asked because you see it all over the place. You'll see it on Gringo Post, you'll see it on Ecuador Expats Facebook and Cuenca Expats Facebook. You see it everywhere. Looking for a facilitator, recommend a facilitator. And so I've had this question asked a number of times over the past few months, and so I'm finally getting around to it. What is a facilitator? A facilitator is, facilitator as it's used here, as you see it written up, is not really one particular thing. There's facilitators, for example, that it, their profession is to help you walk you through the process of obtaining a visa. It isn't necessarily an attorney, although there are attorneys that do that. There's a whole range of meanings. A facilitator is what's right for you. I didn't need a visa facilitator. Uh, I actually hired an attorney. That's a long story. Maybe I'll tell that one time. And uh, I had issues. I probably would have been better off if I just walked through myself. And you can walk through yourself. It's, a, it's not horrendously difficult. Although there's recent law changes, so it doesn't hurt. But let's get away from the visa aspect. I decided to use a facilitator. And the type of facilitator I used was really somebody to walk me through the culture, to help me out with various things. I, you know, I wanted to travel around. Well, how do you travel around if you don't speak Spanish and you don't know how the buses run and you don't know how to find a passenger van and you don't know what's fair or not fair in a taxi cab? There's a whole range of things. I needed to get my cable turned on. I needed to find this house and make sure that I was getting a good deal on it. Uh, I needed to find good restaurants and there's a, a million things that you need to do when you get here. And yeah, you can go out and you can explore and you can discover. You can also waste a lot of time on that. You know, to you that may not be a waste of time, maybe that's the adventure of it. I really wanted to get the lay of the land. I wanted to make a good decision. And I wanted to get the most out of, for example, visiting the Inca ruins. Um, I wanted to get the most out of that without being preoccupied by how to get there and how to get back and how to make sure I'm doing the right thing and what is this all about and what am I looking at. And so there's a whole range of things where it can come into use. Now, I'm going to introduce you to the person that helped me over the course of about a year. And I've recommended her to a few people that, have, uh, that are thinking about coming here, and it's worked out real well. And um, this isn't a, an advertisement. I'm not getting paid for this. But it goes to the heart of the question, what is a facilitator? and what is the range. And so we're going to explore that here uh, with some video clips and uh, an interview. So let's take a look at that. Well, hello. Hello. It's okay. Uh, my name is Maria Isabel. My last name is Arby. And uh, I'm 26 years old. I live in Cuenca all my life. Uh, with my mom and uh, I study here for be a secretary but bilingual so I started to, to uh, I started to study English then like seriously because in the first years of the high school it's not a good teacher so it's too little that I learned, but later I learned more in the. How do you say, senior? Senior. So then I realized that I like 
English, well, probably the, uh, the other languages too, but I started with English. But I like a lot the English, but I didn't choose the, to be a teacher because I said, no, if I am a bad teacher, I, I'm going to be um, an unhappy person, which is um, business administration. So now, uh, uh, later I work and study, uh, so that takes me a little more time. But now, uh, I learn more when we have a teacher from US, Susan. So later, uh, I finished that uh, English classes, and later I took another one in, in the university. I want to travel around the world, and I know the language that most of the people in different countries learn is English, so it's a way to communicate with another culture. So what do you think of doing this facilitator work? When I worked with you and with Robert in a few weeks of that we, he, he was here, I, did, I learned that another point, because you're from New York, he's from Oregon. And he's like, you can tell me now, because it's just you and me. Did I drive you crazy with all those questions? No, because it's a way to learn about my culture. Because I live here for all my life, I didn't realize a lot of things. Could be larger than life, bigger than the world. Living out the hopes and dreams of every boy and every girl. You could fly higher than the sky, shine brighter than the stars. You could have all you ever wanted. Shoot the moon and reach for Mars. You know you could. Yeah, the times are changing. Could be larger than life, bigger than the world. Living out the hopes and dreams of every boy and every girl. You could fly higher than the sky, shine brighter than the stars. You could have all you ever wanted. You could be moon and reach for Mars. You know you could larger, larger than, bigger, bigger than. You know you could.